Hello everybody and welcome to my playthrough of Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2. I have been waiting a long time for this game to came out since I finished the first one back in 2011. I have managed to luckily remain mostly spoiler free pretty much for this game since it uh, came out. Which was something I really wanted to do because I wanted to experience it as a complete first time. Especially after finishing the original game back in the day. Uh, normally, I, this would have been something I would have put up on my Twitch stream, but due to life circumstances, uh, we're going to try a YouTube playthrough of this. Now, this is the first time I've done a YouTube playthrough, so it might be a little rough around the edges, but if you got some uh, tips, hints, whatever, just try not to spoil anything in the game or that, uh, leave that in the comments section down below. As well, uh, just so... People probably are might be wondering. The window is in actually ultra wide. I'm actually using an ultra wide monitor. Eventually, I'm going to switch to something a more standard size. But right now, this is what I've got. So you might see a little bit of black bars in the top and bottom. Hopefully, it's not too much of a problem. Um, easy, normal. I mean, usually I go like a normal if I just want an easy play playthrough. Hardest difficulty, I'll usually do that on my second playthrough. So you know what? Let's go. Let's play a veteran. Let's do that. In the 41st millennium, humanity stands on the brink of annihilation. The galaxy-spanning Imperium of Man is bested, beset on all sides by hostile aliens and threatened from within by traitors and heretics. It is an age of constant war, a new dark age in which the Enlightenment is replaced by superstition, rhetoric and blind prayer. To live in such times is to be amongst untold billions existing in the cruelest and bloodiest regime imaginable. The most powerful and dreaded of the Imperium's defenders are the Space Marines. Bio-engineered superhuman warriors, they are humanity's last bastion against the terror. There is no time for peace, no respite, no forgiveness. In the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war. I love it. The setting is just awful. Awesome. Alright, cut team. I'll try and shut up. Tyranid Hive Shoot? Imperial Guard for the slaughter.
What an intro. So it looks like basically the planet's under attack by Tyranids. Kill team leader to squad. Box check. Repeat. Kill team leader to squad. Confirm Vox contact. We have crashed. It's from your position. Do you have the virus bomb? Damn it. Well, that's, as I said, one way to start the game. Uh, so, basic premise. Tyranids attacking the planet. Normally we just bomb the shit out of it and just kill everything. But due to the presence of whatever Project Aurora is, uh, they have deemed it not possible. So now we're here to uh, drop the viral bomb. Well. Moving to Lost contact with Brother. Approaching orbital launcher facility. Well secure. Hellstrus, hold far. I'm moving well. to the crash site. Do you read? Side of the commander. Negative. No contact since the crash. I'm here, damn it. Kelstras, you have command. What are your orders? You proceed as planned. Launch the virus bomb into the stratosphere. Detonate it. And watch the Tyranids die. A sight I will greatly enjoy. Transmitter must be broken. Hormigans. The area will be crawling with them. Alright, sorry. I was trying not to talk over any sort of in-game voices or anything like that. Don't want to interrupt. Um, yeah, basically just put the mission description right up there. Basically, the Tyranid High Fleet has invaded the planet of Kadaku, placing an alpha-level project known as Aurora at risk. Advance the orbital launch facility, fire a viral bomb into the atmosphere, and combat... Excuse me, I'm a little busy here trying to look at stuff. Ah, that's, that's a good feeling. Just like the original. So damage depletes arm. Armor regenerates after a small delay. Recently lost health can be restored by dealing damage. That I like. That keeps you... It's kind of like a... It reminds me of what Doom was trying to do, where it keeps you in combat. Basically, you're losing health. Go kill shit to regenerate it. Don't just stand behind a wall. Get in there and murder everything. Love it. Oh, so actually the armor points do regenerate as well. Okay, that's cool. Let's we'll see how that plays out as goes. Heavy attacks. Hold the right mouse button to finish a chainsword combo with a heavy attack. The longer the combo, the more powerful the heavy attack. You Against large groups of enemies. Sweet. I'm up to my elbows in these wretched pawns. Any word from Brother Darius? Or the oh, hold the button to nut. Bro. It is left to us to share the glory now, Telstras. Hold on, brothers. Okay. So we're fighting very large groups of enemies. Just. As far as I can remember, the original was actually very much like that, except for we're fighting orcs. Press C to parry. Common attacks with a blue indicator can be parried. Perfectly timed parries will instantly kill smaller enemies and stagger large... Ooh, I like that. Okay. Oh. Brutal and gory, just the way I like it. Oh, okay, they're not gonna give me time to explore. Let's get this done. Okay, so they're not gonna give the indicator pretty much every time when they're gonna attack, so I'll have to just try that out. There's much to explore over here anyways. Who wants some? Now they send larger with this stuff. 
Press space to dodge attacks when they're marked with a red indicator. X to lock the camera into large enemies. Such okay. Oh, yes. Executions. Okay, so... It's it's very much taking a lot of uh, hints from Doom twenty sixteen and Doom Eternal. At least for the, this portion, where you can regenerate health and armor from kills, which I very much like. I hate sit behind this wall and wait till your health comes back and then pop out. This is Warhammer. Let's see what's next. Okay, not going that way. I gotta admit, it's a little bit weird not having any sort of live audience uh, while playing this. I'm, I'm used to always having somebody to kind of bounce chat off of, so kind of talking to myself might be a little bit weird. So if I'm a little bit quiet sometimes. Brother. Sorry. Uh, if I'm a little bit quiet sometimes, it's partly me just getting used to this. this will roar in your name, Darius. I swear on it. Ooh, that feels good. That's got a nice, good punch, punchy sound to it. So weak at the enemy, hold right click to knock back small enemies and mark them for a gun strike. Press shoot the gun strike on a marked enemy. Okay. It's to kill small enemies and deal significant damage. Okay, so that's what that little icon sort of is. Shots in before we get right into it. There we go. Getting used to the parry now. All right, I guess the game kind of wants me to do the whole practice the gun strike thing. And then it'll probably just be like, yep, yeah, you know what? You know the basics. Let loose. Purge the Xenos. Okay, so I just realized I don't have a jump button. Not today. Okay. Okay, now we're getting into some guys that can actually shoot at me. That's gonna change some things. <laughs> Why go around when we can just... Ah, I thought he was gonna food kick it. <laughs> Team, I am at the crash 
All right, let's do this. Purge the Xenos. Oh, I was like, where is he? Alpha, <laughs> Kelstras, if you can hear me, I have the virus bomb. Headed to the orbital launcher. Is that as hard as you? Amazing, such a small device. They basically purge the entire planet. You son of a bitch! Suck it! Not today! Oh shit, I got a few more coming. I fear no enemy except this one. Because I'm terrible at parrying. Who else wants a piece? Today. Ah, no, too many. I'm not ready. Give me back my health, you little bastard. Okay, so this is going to take some getting used to here. Definitely gonna have to work on my uh, skills in battles like that. That did not go my way. Well, I guess I'm alive, so it technically did go my way. Oh, it actually tells you your combos in here. Oh, that's cool. Um, I just need to turn down. Where is my... Oh. Uh. There we go. The mouse is feeling a little twitchy there. Hellstrust, are you with me? I have the bomb! What the in the hell? Emperor well, brother. Record log. To any Imperial unit that recovers this log. Oh, okay. My kill team crash landed off course. My brothers are all dead. Slain by Tyranids. I have the virus bomb. Moving to the orbital launcher. We'll fire into stratosphere where it will disperse over Tyranid positions. 
Okay, so I see. So now we got the bolt rifle. And we're all alone. As it should be. We'll purge every last one of them. But anyways, as we switch over to the rifle here, I noticed we go two-handed with this, so... Yeah, much more accurate at range. So better for long-range shots, but... Good to know that uh, red barrels still explode. Alright, let's get right into the thick of this. Looks like we're only going to be able to carry two weapons. But, really... Continue love. The virus is our one chance to delay the Tyranid invasion. The virus will spread through their forces. They will adapt, but it will slow them down. The virus must be launched into the stratosphere. Nothing else matters. Well, that's interesting. Oh, I didn't even realize what I was looking at when I looked at these. I never really took the moment. Holy. Wow, it's uh, basically a living spore drop that just throws itself onto the ground and everything comes right out of it. But well, that's interesting that the virus will only go... It won't kill them all, it'll just slow them down. But, situations like this, you gotta make the best you can. Hey, if you can slow it down, it might give you time to build up more armament. Alright, bring it on! Not today. Oh, the chainsword feels so good. All right, time to uh, take a short. Nope, 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 never mind. Okay, so it's getting used to having the bigger enemies in with the smaller ones. Not even death, just aborted. Alright, let's try that again. Let's try to take a tactical retreat, but uh, did a terrible job of that. Oh, okay, so even with the... Uh, I thought with the rifle I would be able to... Use my chainsaw, but apparently I can switch that. Oh, you bugger. Oh, well. So, this is going to take a little bit to figure out. Okay, so those guys actually have armor and will deflect my shots, so that's good to know. Not today. Well, I mean, not this time, hopefully. Nothing else matters. Ah, I got a, not quite sure about the timing on that blocks here.
Yeah, I'm having a hard time reading exactly what's going on in combat. Because I feel like I'm hitting the block button, but I don't know if there's like a specific timing I have to have with that. Or if I can just spam it. I'm still figuring that out. Okay, so I do have to get some timing with that. Okay, so... Okay, so there is actually a short moment where we're blocking. So it's not just like I can just spam the button. armaments useless in the face of being able to literally just drop pod in like that and just overwhelm with numbers oh just even the sound of that oh this is why we must purge the xenos Open All the right. gates. Shift chronometer reset. You are registered as on duty. Carry out the officer's work according to divine synchronicity. Little bugger. Excellent. Inserting payload. Let's do this. Set course for stratospheric detonation. The right of safeguard must be performed. Seek an authorized Magos at the command console. Authorized what? Oh, okay. I thought maybe I was going to have to go find, find this quite a bit later. Or maybe I will. All right. Oh, sweet. We get grenades now. Where is the command console? On the observation platform above. The Magos will do to just right this out. Okay, so it's relatively effective. I can shoot back too. Alright, we'll dwindle the numbers down. Summon the lift. Chew on this. Nice try. So far, so good. Machine Spirit, what is the status of the orbital launcher? Hibernation. Console inactive for 22 hours. This impiety to the Omnissiah has been locked. Activate launch systems. The rite of initialization must be performed. 
Seeking authorized vehicles at the command console. The command console is posted at the edge of the observation platform. Anagos will attend to you shortly. Doubtful. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how many people are still alive that can authorize this, but... Ah, damn, this looks good. It's really cool to be able to like follow the the missile or the launcher as it goes, and then obviously it's going to take a shot off into the stratosphere over there. That most definitely is going to be some kind of arena. All right, Let's see what we can find. Make sure, we're fully loaded. All right, let's just keep... Oh, my God. Okay, there's just a few of them coming. Okay, just, just, just a few. And here I thought, oh, hey, that's just a lot of enemies off in the distance. Oh, hey, that hail of enemies is coming towards me. Grenades will at least make me feel a little better about this. Okay. Um. Oh, I see they're climbing up. Perfect. Just keep firing. Oh, crap. They're dropping in now. Oops. Made a mistake. Execute, execute, execute. Yes. Yes. Heavy attack. Launch the bomb. Come on. Ah, oh, crap. No, not at the end. No, but I'm so close. Oh shit, so we were Titus all along. You 
because in the first game, at the very end, the magistrate, or not magistrate, forgive my lack of uh, complete understanding of Warhammer lore. I mostly like the uh, murder and death and combat. But uh, the Inquisitors took him away for fear of Chaos Taint. Timing's off. It's a good thing I'm practically invincible with this combat fight. Execute. Want some. Oh, he's on our edge. Oh, you little buggers. I might take a little couple more hits. Bring it on. Okay, that hurts. saved us. Joining server. Okay, I'm not quite sure. We're going to like some sort of hub? Survived only through the Rubicon surgery. We remade you. You are a Primaris now. Why? Lord Kalgar issued the command himself. Is he here? Gone. Summoned by the Primarch. I must get back to the Watch Fortress. You have been reassigned. My place. 
is with the Death Watch. The Inquisition can find no stain on you, Titus. Accused of heresy. You have served penance in the Death Watch for almost a century. And not once have you faltered. But you will never know redemption until you have faced the judgment of your brothers. Prove yourself to us and no true absolution. What is your life? My honor is my life. What is your fate? My duty is my fate. What is your fear? My fear is to fail. What is your reward? My salvation is my reward. What is your craft? My craft is death. What is your pledge? My pledge is eternal service. surgery has remade you as a Primaris Marine. You are now stronger, faster, and more resilient. You will take your place as an Ultramarine once more. Your brothers will know that you served in the Death Watch, but your dishonorable status as a Black Shield has been redacted from the Archives. Should it be discovered, there would be... questions. Lord Kalgar has offered you a second chance. Do not taint it. Well, that was one way to uh, introduce everything back. Ventia secured the spaceport and handed over its defense to the Cadians. Ventia done. The guards will be cleaning up bits of tyranny for weeks. So now we know what happened to Titus at the end of the first game there when the Inquisition took him. And the fact that it's been a hundred years since then. Well, I think this is probably a good place to stop part one of this. So thank you all who were who have watched so far. Really appreciate that, and hopefully we'll uh get to this back to this right away. So Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.